And which element goes after the water? The wind. Let's write them down. Mountain, water, wind. And this is Fusigua in the traditional way. This is how you find it in the box. So all the amount of ya on the opposite three grams will be nine, equal to nine. You can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Anyone you count, that will be nine. You remember? Or possibly you know that the even amount of yao will tell us about ingwa, the uh, intrigram. But the odd amount of yao that will be yang trigram or yangwa. One, two, three, heaven is yang. One, two, three, four, that meridian will be yi. And now We'll go to another distribution. As I said, these two wonderful people, they reconsidered the distribution of the meridians in the Gua. And they reconsidered the distribution of the Guas within the Bagua, according to the acupuncture way. And now let's remember the distribution of the meridians. So heaven is always do. Lake is lung, large intestine. Fire is small intestine, heart. Thunder is pericardium, syngial. Wind is liver, gallbladder. Water is kidney and bladder. Mountain is stomach and spleen. So this is what the distribution was in the pre-heaven Bagua or first Fusigua. As I said before, Zhou Zhang Yu and Zhang Shengxiao, they redistributed meridian, they redistributed meridians according to their knowledge. So, if in first Fusigua, heaven was referred to Du, now we forget about it. This is very important. We forget about it because we're coming to, let's say, Fu Si Gua Tu. That was Fu Si Gua 1. And now look at this picture. I will ask you, which Three meridians go from the top to the bottom and they are young. Bladder, gallbladder and stomach. So they referred bladder and gallbladder to the heaven Gua. And they referred the stomach meridian to the middle jaw. So which gua is yin and which gua is yang? One, two, three, four. This is the yin gua. One, two, three, four, five is yang gua. This stomach is the yang organ or yin? Yang. So this will be the stomach. And the opposite one will be spleen. And now say which two meridians, yin meridians, come from the bottom up towards the head. There will be kidney and liver. Why didn't say spleen? Because spleen is here. So yin of the yin, yin meridians, that will be kidney and liver. 
and we'll see that bladder will be opposite kidney and gallbladder will be opposite the liver. So these meridians, they create couples between each other. Stomach will be referred to spleen and spleen referred to stomach. That will be another couple. Please tell me, which are yin who are the yin meridians which originate from the upper jaw? Can we say heart and pericardium? Yes. One, two, three, four, yin gua, who said heart, and pericardium. The corresponding meridians on another side, diagonally towards the heart and pericardium, I believe must be young meridians. Who are the young meridians which originate from the bottom and they are young? Who are they? Saint Joe and small intestine. That's right. So they create couples between each other. What is left? Large intestine and lung. We have one yang gua and one yin gua. What is go which organ will go to the yang gua? Large intestine. And also where the large intestine is. It's on the bottom. So in the lower gua, large intestine, in the lower yao and lung. They will be in front of each other. And this is how we come to the understanding of system three, which says the meridians on the opposite side of the Bagua treat each other. And you will see the distribution the young meridian will be on the opposite side of the yin meridian all the time. What it says. The large intestine will treat any, any disturbances including pain, burning, stiffness on the lung meridian. And lung meridian will treat anything, any pains on the large intestine meridian. Heart will relate to Sunjiao, uh, to small intestine. Sunjiao will be related to pericardium and so on. Always on the opposite side. The same as system one. So you must remember system one and system three, opposite side. And system two, either side. Examples. Any pains on the knee. Very easy. To treat needling in other knee. For example, pain around the spleen will be treated needling the stomach meridian on the opposite leg. Pain in the elbow around the large intestine, for example, 11, will be treated by needling lung meridian on the opposite arm around lung 5. What about carpal tunnel syndrome on Sinjiao meridian? For example, on the right arm, Sinjiao meridian on the right arm by the system three will be balanced by pericardium. And if we use the direct mirror, which points do we choose? If the carpal tunnel is from Sinjiao 3 to Sinjiao 4. So we'll need a pericardium as she points on the palm. Starting from pericardium 8.5 to pericardium 7. Any as she points. And I use two important tools of acupuncturist is the poker. One pound on eBay. Very important. 
So if I want to find the ashy points, I can use my finger or in some zones, like fingers, I use the poker. And also I always use a cosmetic pencil. Why? In some zones, it's much better to mark the possible ashy points and then needle them. 